Want to speak real Arabic from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at arabicpod101.com. Hi everyone, this is Nora from arabicpod101.com. Welcome to Ask a Teacher, where I'll be answering some of your most common Arabic questions. The question for this lesson is, what are some common expressions used in street signs in the Arab world? How cool is it that instructional signs are almost identical in just about every Arabic-speaking country? No matter what dialect the country speaks, instructional signs are always in modern standard Arabic. Let's take a look at the most common instructional signs. First, we have signs that you'll typically see in a parking lot. خروج Exit دخول Entrance Garage or موقف Parking Next, we have signs you will typically see on the road. قف Stop اتجاه إجباري Must turn left or right. إلزم اليمين Keep right. إلزم اليسار Keep left. الأولوية لك You have priority. هدئ السرعة Slow down. انتبه Watch out or attention. The last two signs, Hadd al-Sura and Intabih, are usually seen before sudden bumps, construction work, and dangerous curves. Kilometr, kilometers. Mitr, meters. These two are the shortened versions of kilometr and mitr, respectively, just like km for kilometer and m for meter in English. They're usually shortened to fit on street signs. They're used in many signs, like the ones that tell you where you are on the highway. For example, if you're 200 kilometers away from Alexandria on the Cairo to Alexandria highway, somewhere on the way you will see a sign that says, Metin kilometer, 200 kilometers. Ton. Tons. This one is mainly for truck weight allowances. The number you will see next to ton is the maximum weight allowance on this road in ton. Lastly, we have two of the main reasons why people get tickets on the streets of Egypt. Mamnu'a <laughs> al-dukhul No entry, commonly used for one-way streets. Mamnu'a al-intadhar No parking, commonly found in front of exits, entrances, and around important buildings. Driving in the Middle East might feel intimidating at first, but as long as you follow the rules and stay attentive to your surroundings, you'll be okay. If you have any more questions, please leave a comment below, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.